there are a few who move toward the sounds of chaos. Okay, just hold on a second. We are not doing that again. What's up guys, Logan Harts here, and today I am at my sister's YouTube channel studio in Indiana. I want to thank her for letting me film this video here while I'm home from college in Thanksgiving. Today I want to talk about six months after leaving the Marine Corps, was it all worth it? That journey that I've been on for the past five years, worth all of the struggle and some of the worst times of my life, was it all worth it looking back? To really understand that, you have to go back to where I started. January 2013, a Marine Corps recruiter called me and asked if I wanted to join the Marine Corps, and I just said, I had already been looking at maybe going into the military, but it just happened that the Marine Corps was the first people who contacted me. And uh, I kind of looked at doing infantry and security forces. I was interested in getting that security clearance. In order to do that, you had to serve in the infantry afterwards. I remember the recruiter looked at me and, and asked if I had any questions. I said, no, I don't have any questions. And he said, you're about to join the infantry wing of the Marine Corps and you don't have any questions. And I said, no, I, let's just do this. I was in depth delayed entry program for less than six months before I shipped off to boot camp. I actually went to boot camp early um, because a spot had opened up and I just wanted to leave. A lot of times when people ask me if uh, I regretted uh, joining the Marine Corps while I was in, I said, yeah, I wish I would have done something else. But in the six months after, um, I don't regret joining the Marine Corps. It was uh, a time in my life where I grew a lot I mean, the Marine Corps kind of molds you to what they want anyways. There's no doubt that I'm a better person now than I would have been if I never would have joined the Marine Corps. If you're looking at joining in, or going into the Marine Corps and you ask me whether you should or not, I, I tend to stay away from that, answering that yes or no. Um, it really depends on your situation. A recruiter's got a, a pretty good... Uh, formula to getting people to, to serve in the Marine Corps or you know any branch, but if you kind of tailor your questions around um, very specific things, you can kind of get an idea better of what you're getting yourself into. What's nice about the Marine Corps is that it was a small community. Uh, there's less than 250,000 Marines. And so when you say that you were in the Marine Corps, it's got some weight to it. There's uh, people automatically have a kind of reverence for people who serve in the Marine Corps. Uh, it's looked at as that uh, outside branch that can kind of do everything. I'm happier that I joined the Marine Corps than I would have been if I had joined a different branch because there's so much pride in the Marine Corps. The other thing to consider is uh, all the benefits that come with it. I have health insurance for the rest of my life educational benefits, the VA home loan. There's just a lot of things and even more while you're in Marine Corps or the military. Like I've said before in my other videos, it's definitely a culture shock coming out of the military and going into college. Um, there is so much difference between the two organ organizations. And what's interesting is, is that they're both based around structure. It, it's just amazing to me how different though they are. Coming up soon, uh, I'm going to be starting a series on all the different duty stations that I was a part of when I was in the Marine Corps. Uh, San Diego, Virginia Beach, uh, Washington State, North Carolina, and overseas uh, because some of my more popular videos are those where I kind of dissect the duty stations or the MOSs like uh, ITB or security forces or the infantry. And so I'm going to be doing that soon, so look out for that. Also, I'm going to be filming a video here shortly about uh, what I'm taking next semester at Northern Michigan University and what I've taken already and kind of do a course breakdown of the classes and what you need to know if you're going to be taking those courses, and especially so if you're taking them at NMU. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Check out my sister and my brother-in-law's channels below. I've got them linked down in the description. 
What are you smiling at over there? What? Huh? What'd you say? Nothing. What'd you say? I said I was gonna link your channel down below in the description. What is it? AKA Aislin. Uh huh. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. They are the few, the proud, the Marines.